Hello and welcome to BadgerCam. In this week's video, I'm going to be building the Airfix 170 second scale DUKW, or as many people will know it, the Duck. This strange looking amphibious truck was most famously used on D Day to transport troops and supplies ashore during the first waves of the assault, as depicted on the lovely box art here. This kit is a remake of a very old Airfix kit, rebranded under the Classics line. The moulds for this kit were originally made during the 60s. These kits used to come in bags and not boxes. Recently I actually saw one of these ancient kits and the plastic was that old that it was basically crumbling apart. I've uh, heard good and bad things about these uh, remakes on a few of the modelling for forums, but without further ado, let's get on with this. Upon opening the box inside you get a small jumbled up looking bag of parts. This is all full of small bits of spur in a nice khaki green shade that I've never seen a model built in before. An instructions manual which is very very short, the whole build is done in four steps, one of which is the decals, and a small sheet of decals to complete the model. Getting into the spurs, this kit really does show its age. The detail's okay, but a bit melted looking. There's lots of flash, mould lines and ejection ports in bad places on all of these bits. Sure it can be overcome though. Anyway, let's get on with building the thing. Straight off the bat, there's a bit of a stumbling block. I'm not sure how to put the thing together. My instinct tells me to put the block on the base and then build around it, but there's nothing to uh, key into on the lower part. So I'm just going to build the bits I can definitely do and think on it. So much to clean up throughout these steps though. Really forgot how spoilt we are though with these uh, modern kits. I don't think I'll be losing uh, much sleep over this kit though. It's uh, really simple. It's the first 172nd scale vehicle I've built in some time though, and I actually forgot how big planes are compared to trucks. Looking forward at the instructions to see if there's any clue on how the thing builds together, it seems I need to build the tub first and then drop the bits down into it. Still though, no harm, no foul. These bits definitely need to be squeezed dried into place. It's coming together though, even if the main parts do need a little light persuasion. Some cleanup is needed where the front parts join, but nothing major. The fit's okay. Now with that done, I think I'm going to uh, leave it to dry for a bit as it's not uh, very easy to handle. Now just a couple of side bits to add. Naturally they all need a bit of a clean up first, but once they're added, that's it done for a very very long step one. Step two is focusing on the underside of the craft, so I'm going to get the wheels painted black now while they're easy to get at, and then it's onto the standard clean up.
with the wheels sort of dry it's time to add these all of the hubcaps to uh, add to the center of these are the same apart from one i failed to spot this and had to switch one out later on in the build so just a heads up number 37 is the one you got to watch out for With all the wheels on, that's the end of a very simple step two. On to step three, the shortest step. This step's all about just adding all the little bits to the hull of the craft. And uh, that's it for the main build, other than a few clear bits to add later. Now it's time for painting. Nice and simple here. A quick coat of Tamiya XF51 khaki drab for the main bit. And some khaki XF49 for the canvas covering on the back. Now to add the decals. The decals in this kit are quite simple. The two main side ones could do with a trim or some softener to get them to fit better into the sides. But for as few of them as there are, these decals really do kind of help finish off the kit. Now just to add a quick light wash of some flory dark dirt and a little bit of dry brushing and some light highlights to make the whole model pop. And this is the model all done. I'm quite proud of it, to be honest with you. All in all, I've really enjoyed building this kit, which is strange as it's probably the worst kit I've built in a while build-wise. It's got tons of flash, loads of ejection ports, and parts that only sort of fit together. But for some reason, I couldn't help but enjoy myself while making it. It's got a certain charm to it, like nursing a sick animal back to health. And uh, you do really get a nice model at the end of it if you uh, stick it out. I think though that this being a short build kind of lends to its enjoyment as with only three main steps you can focus on all the clean up and sorting things out and it doesn't seem so much of a chore. I think all in all to be honest with you this kit only took me about three hours to build. Anyway that's my look at the Airfix 172nd Duck. I hope you've enjoyed the video but until next time look after yourselves and have a good one. Goodbye.